and if i tap on that boom the game is running perfectly the playstation 2 is hands down one of the best ever consoles made with over 157 million units sold till date and even now if you try to play those games you will never feel bored and smartphones these days have become so powerful that it can even run playstation 2 games well in this video i'm going to show you how to run the playstation 2 games in your smartphone using an emulator so watch this video till then because it's going to be really interesting and by the way if you want to buy any of the gears that i use on day-to-day -day basis there's a link in the description below check it out you can buy stuffs directly from the manufacturer with a single link it's very simple just click the link in the description below you can check it out all right so before starting out you need to download certain files one is the emulator and two is the BIOS that is required to run any game using the emulator. So the emulator is called as AESX2. You can find that emulator on Play Store or using the link in the description. So after downloading it, keep it aside and you can also find another link where you can download the BIOS files that's required to run the game. So you have to extract all the BIOS into a folder inside your internal storage of your smartphone. These BIOS files contain BIOSes from Europe, USA and Japan. The reason we are importing all these BIOSes is because for all the games to work seamlessly so that we don't have any problems like missing BIOS. Now after doing all these things you have to open up the application and tap on next twice. Now you land up on a settings page where you have to tweak certain settings to make the games run flawlessly. So the first and foremost setting tap on optimal slash safe defaults is checked. Tap on screen orientation and set to landscape. Also set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and if you're not comfortable with 16 by 9 because of the black bars that's coming on the either side of the screen, you can set the aspect ratio to fill to screen so that the game will fill the entire screen giving you a seamless experience. Now after doing that, tap on next and you have to start importing the BIOS that you've already saved in your internal storage. Start importing all the files and now you can start seeing the BIOS files of Europe, USA and Japan, everything intact. So after importing the BIOS, tap on next and now you have to create a folder for the games in order to use it as a directory. Now make sure that you've already downloaded the game and kept inside a folder in your internal storage so that you can select that particular path in order for the app to use that as the game directory. So I've already set a folder named as PS2 games inside my internal storage, which has God of War in it. So I am only using God of War just to showcase how you can play the games using this emulator. You can download any other games. As I said, I won't be giving you any links. You can just directly Google it and get it done. So after selecting the game directory file, you have to tap on next and now the app setup process is complete. So after the setup process is complete, you will be in the library where you can find the games that you've imported using the game directory that you've selected. Now you can see I have God of War here. And if I tap on that, boom, the game is running perfectly now keep in mind that if you have imported only the japanese bios and having a european version of the game then the game won't simply work so that is why during the setup process i've told you to import all the biases from europe usa and japan so that no problem comes while you try to run any game now you can see god of war works like a charm in your smartphone and the on-screen controls also works perfectly now if you're worried about the on-screen controls and want to connect a controller then you can also do that but a problem with connecting a controller is that your controller should support D input because only D input controllers work with your smartphone. So if you have a controller to switch between X input to D input, then you are good to go. You can connect it using an OTG cable like I am doing. But the problem with this method is that you cannot start playing instantly the moment you connect your controller because you have to map all the keys manually. So to do that, you have to pause the game and tap on the D-pad icon which will open up a menu in that tap on port one and start scrolling down until you find the custom keys to map so you have to map your controller manually only then you'll be able to play the game so now i've successfully mapped all the keys and i have an xbox controller but i have mapped it according to a playstation controller so after i've mapped successfully close this pop-up menu and start playing the game using the controller see this is really great, right? You can now start playing PlayStation games seamlessly by using your smartphone with the help of a controller. Now, I know it is very difficult to play in a small screen with a controller far away. 
so you can buy stuff like this from amazon which is very cheap under 500 rupees so that your gaming experience is much more better so what do you guys think about this method of playing playstation 2 games in your smartphone let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always share this video with all of your friends because it's very useful and by the way if you want to buy any of the gadgets that i use day to day there's a link in the description below you can check it out you can buy stuff directly from the manufacturer and most of you tend to forget to subscribe to my channel but don't do that it's very simple just find the red color subscribe button below in the description and also press the bell icon to get all the notifications whenever i post any new video and like this video because it will help me reach in the algorithm so this is me enough signing off talk to you guys in the next one bye bye